Hello and welcome back to another video. So once again we're looking at another beer. This is from Tiny Rebel and this is Turn It Up To 11 which is an imperial version of Pump Up The Jam which is an extremely drinkable pale ale. So without further ado let's crack this open and see exactly what we've got here. says that the eye is red. It's definitely a very deep red, if not brown. Perhaps it's to be expected with an imperial ale. So in the glass it's very murky. Doesn't look to be much carbonation at all. Small amount, let's give this now. I can smell the jam donuts. There's no two ways about it. The jam is coming through. But it's certainly more of a brown colour than a red, so let's give this a taste. I've actually watched a few reviews of this video, and people have reviews of this video, reviews of this beer, and people have really slated it. I have to say, the jam donut is definitely still there from Pump Up the Jam. It is very sweet, disguising that eleven percent. That's is £6.25 a can on the Tiny River website. I got what they call the 440 milliliter pack, which was basically, I think it was 18 cans for around about £45. So I certainly didn't pay £6.25 a can. This is interesting. It's an enjoyable drink. You're definitely picking up the uh, jam donut there. But it's probably not one that I would venture out to buy again, especially for the price. I think there are better beers. With that being said, I believe it is sold out, and it's sort of an experimental thing, which Tiny Rebel seem to have been doing recently, imperializing some of their uh, more well-known drinks. And there was numerous others in the set that have sort of uh, injected with a little bit of steroids. And... This is probably my least favourite, although this was the one I was looking forward to the most. I still say it's worth trying, but it's an 11% drink. Not something you're going to be consuming a great deal of on an evening. So, I would probably give this... I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. Going to be generous there, I think, because it is an imperial ale. But I would recommend this more for just cracking open and sharing amongst a few friends, just a bit of an experience rather than a drink to, to consume on your own. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, we'll have some more videos soon.